can enjoy it. Of course I care about our oceans. Didn't you see the poster in my room? Anybody down to play some spin the brothel? Nothing kicks a party into overdrive. Like a little bit of mouth on mouth action. You know what I'm saying? Patrick, you said the exact same thing at Grandpa's funeral. Oh, hey, I'm Amy. I think I just lost my will to live. Sorry, guy, not interested. Oh, a change of scenery, huh? What a great idea. Let's start with... Hmm... I don't know. Somewhere you're not? Did you need something? Oh, so if I weren't wearing glasses, I'd just be some dumb bitch? You're not doing yourself any favors, dude. I have other shit to do if you don't mind. The back of the fridge. If stuff's really about whiffing seems- Did you need something? Typical. Act like you're doing the girl a favor and get her some drinks in hopes of getting her tipsy so she loses her inhibitions and makes poor life choices. And then you might have a chance of getting laid tonight, right? I think I'll pass. Big as you think. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm Madison's sister. Nice to meet you. Well, I doubt Madison would ever call me that, but I do live here too, so call it what you want. You're sweet. I'm here if you have any questions about the crowd, including yours truly. As co-host of this evening, I'd be super bummed if you felt left out or whatever. I wish I had somebody else's foot to stick up your ass because I'm afraid of what I'd find up there. Text. Don't be rude. Yeah. Too. <laughs> OMG, I like love this song. This party's okay, but I really wish I could do some whippets. That wasn't a very nice thing to say. Stranger, how's it going? Oh, I work at Chubby, that sports bar with all the greasy food and the, you know, topless waitresses. Psh, great for you, maybe. There's only so many times you can hear the same jokes over and over again. I'd order the footlong, but I already have one. <laughs> <laughs> but at least I get to take home a free meal every night, which ironically is usually a foot long because they're pretty good and long. Wait, you're Derek's friend, right? Hey, I'm Madison. This is, uh, my party. Oh yeah, don't mention it. Derek was all, Hey, I have this friend who doesn't know anybody because he just moved here, and I promise he's not a dick. And Derek and I are kind of in the middle of this... It doesn't matter. And I didn't want to make things weirder, so I was like, sure, bring your friend. So, yeah, glad you could come. I'm sorry, that was rude. My head is everywhere. You know that feeling when you love hosting parties until you're actually in the middle of hosting one? 
then you remember people are the worst, and your cousin has a serious alcohol problem, and that you definitely should have brought more food. That's a cool thing to say, even if you are just trying to win brownie points. That's always been such a weird phrase to me, brownie points. What the hell are those anyway? Ha ha ha. That was a really bad dad joke, but I appreciate the effort. Anyway, it was good talking to you and meeting you. I gotta get back to the party, but come find me later and we can get to know each other some more. Maybe take some pics for my gram? Oh, and don't forget to mingle. There are some awesome people here. Topless Bar and Grill is recognizing the face above the boobs. Britney boobs for days should learn to relax. Big titties used to be considered a sign of power in olden days. That's why all medieval king bras had some man tit action going on. History bra. Please don't get Derek going with the dancing thing. I mean, it's not that it wouldn't be fun. He actually is pretty good. But he gets way too competitive. He starts trash talking and shit. I just want everything to run smoothly tonight and for everybody every to get single time the same fucking song. How is it even possible that Max only runs one song? I'm so drunk, brah. I've got a splitting headache, brah. I could really use some aspirin. You don't happen to know where I could find some, do you? Oh, look who it is. You've been standing here so long that other people are starting to tell me stories about you. But have you even looked my way yet? Nah, -uh, nope. That's cold, man. Thanks for coming, buddy. I'm really glad you came. It's been a rough week. I was looking forward to hanging with you. Did you check the fridge? That's the most obvious place it would be to me. Ah, uh, it's not worth getting into right now. Let's just relax and enjoy ourselves. It's just a lot of things, man. Family stuff mostly, but also some girlfriend problems. I mean that as girl problems and friend problems all bundled into one. Fun fucking stuff. That's about as specific as I'm gonna get right now. Thanks for looking out, buddy. But let's leave it. Every time Stephanie dips, I want to put my hand up on that hip. Yo, I'm Leah. Leah as in, I'm gonna leave your ass in the third if you try anything at this party tonight. Did that, did that sound badass? Shit, I gotta practice what Sensei Frank taught me. Sensei Frank, you know the big bald guy who sits downstairs holding down the fort? Guy who whistles show tunes when nobody's around? Oh, all right then. Well, speaking of, I gotta hit up Frank real quick. He's got me on patrol, and I gotta go report to him on five minute increments. Thing is, I left my phone at the gym so I've been counting in my head. It's been exactly five minutes, or like, a lot longer than that. Freaky boys? Yeah, they if you're going to set up a beer pong table, at least drag it out of the garage so the rest of us can enjoy it. How long do these kind of parties last? Could I go ahead and slip out? 
I think everybody's seen me. I gotta remember to still get my reps tonight. I wonder if there's anything I could use as a punching bag around here. There is that blonde guy. My dad once tried to sell an ancient Native American water holder he found in our backyard on the Antiques Highway Tour. They laughed him out of the convention center because it was actually a cup holder from a 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Ever since, I've refused to call him dad. I like the way she operates. Just being a fucking giant bitch to everybody. <laughs> it's sexy shit, though. Wait, wait. Patrick's our cousin, not our manager. He told you that he was our manager. What would he even be managing? Yo, you know that strip market that was on the news recently? I'm saving up to rent a spot in there. Open up my own self defense studio. The market is hot right now. You get the spot cheap because nobody wants to be near the place. About 220, 230. Sorry, guy, not interested. Oh, a change of scenery, huh? What a great idea. Let's start with. Hmm. I don't know. Somewhere you're not? I use that old system of plates and pounds, dude. I'm on the junkyard system. Oh, here we go. What the? Why would I even go to college for that? What the? Wait, oh man, for a second I thought you were about to pull the girls out in front of everybody. Thanks very much for tightening me up. Tops like these can really, uh, lead to some impromptu exhibitionism. Really, I appreciate it, cutie. Ugh, get that stuff away from me. If you can't tell from Patrick, our family doesn't handle the hard stuff well. Beer, on the other hand. Hey again, how's it going?
Oh, thanks. That's really sweet. We've got all sorts here. I can't lie, most of these folks are Madison's friends. But they've taken me into their group too, which I'm sure Madison just hates. But yeah, like everyone's pretty cool. Except for Frank. You fucking asshole! Get the fuck away from me! I've gotta take a shit. Oh, hey, I don't believe we've met. I'm Brittany. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just... Well, it's kind of embarrassing. I just bought this new top, and... Well, I've always been endowed with rather large... Well, you know. <laughs> I'm just really self-conscious about it. I'm not sure I can bring myself to go out there. Oh, thank you. That makes me feel a little better. Hey again, how's it going? I know, I know. I just can't bring myself to go out there. Maybe if there was a way I could be sure I wouldn't be the center of attention, I might be persuaded to come out. I don't have a fire extinguisher, but do you mind if I light you on fire? Oh, she is just adorable walking around in that little bumblebee outfit. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious to see what's underneath it. That'll just be our little secret, though. <laughs> no thanks, I'm good right here. I think even if I did dare to venture out amongst these finely dressed folks, I've already got an idea or two of exactly who I'd be hanging out with all night. No offense. Hey again, how's it going? Arrested? I only supply. You don't arrest the jockey when the horse dies from an overdose of a combination of cocaine and alcohol, sir. At least, they didn't in the case of my cousin, Little Corbin. I thought prescriptions are super easy to get. Just tell the university doctor that reading makes you tired, or that your roommate died. They'll give you anything if your roommate died. Yeah, I've been taking contemporary dance classes in my free time. Most contemporary dance shares the same moves as Brazilian capoeira or Japanese Aikido. Dude, I'm pretty much learning another method of fighting if you think about it. What's your deal? Like, what are you into? Please don't say kidnapping young women. I hate when conversations start like that. They never end well. You want into our gang, dude? We don't drink. We don't eat gluten. Come on, dude. Every single time, the same fucking song. How is it even possible that Madison... Patrick, you just can't say that shit. We're more than just... That. Fuck, man. The... Huh? I meant the whole truth about my sight and how it can liberate. Aw, oh, man, bro, not that women are holes. I mean, they have them. Now... Enjoy it. My brother, man. He had an entire future ahead of him. Hey, uh, I'm Rachel. Sorry if you just saw me swat that guy. I promise you, I'm not a giant bitch. I just, uh, I can't even get into it. Buddy, you are way out of your depth. I gotta get my thermos from Frank and get back to drinking like one would do at. 
Hey again, are you lost? Sure, go into the upstairs master bedroom and first door on your left. I actually left my phone in there somewhere. Could you be a doll and bring it to me? Um, I think I'll take my chances with Raymond, weirdo. Hey, any luck finding my phone in the bathroom? I think I left it near the sink. <sighs> what could she possibly want? Okay, I'll track her... Is there a specific reason you're helping that asshat? So what if his head's pounding? Patrick is bleached, blonde, garbage. And I'm worried you are too if you're helping him. Have you not heard anything about Patrick before tonight? No? I guess I'll just have to take your word on that. Just stay away from that chemical burn of a person over there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to figure out how I can get my alcohol back from a different... You again? Now what? Seriously? What's my sign? That's the best you could come up with? I was having an okay time until fucking Frank stole my thermos. He said it looked like something I could hide booze in it and that he was confiscating it. Again, how's it going? I want those time slots, you know. That's when it kicks around the head. I could be the one to show you that every Tuesday at 3 a.m. Hey again, stranger. How's it going? is the actor process of inhaling nitrous oxide from small compressed canisters or compressed cans of whipped cream to obtain a momentary high. I get like totally serious when it comes to drugs. It's okay. My true passion is erotic dancing though. It's what I used to do before the last real gentleman's club in this town closed down. So... <sighs> chubbies it is, I guess. I used to...
Ugh, I don't know how a dress can manage to be so tight and still only be hanging on by- Hey, any luck finding my phone in the bathroom? I think I left it near the sink. What? Excuse me? Is that your idea of a pickup line? <sighs> You're really the guy Derek said is the coolest motherfucker he's ever met? I'm not seeing it. K bye is a piece of hunk. Oh, he sure Hey, any luck finding my phone in the bathroom? I think I left it near the sink. She's up to something, I know it. Typical little sister, right? I'm kind of nervous though because this is my party and if she pulls something here, it would be really embarrassing for me. I tried to tell her that nobody cares about her stupid boobs. I mean, I know mine aren't as big as hers, but I go out all the time with half my cleavage on display and you don't see me crying about it. <laughs> she's a big baby. I heard she's a lesbian too, so you may not want to play the Good Samaritan card with her. It probably won't get you anywhere. What? That fucking asshole! I'll be right back. I don't know. Maybe the good weed? Do you have any, by the way? Do you have the time? I have to make a call to my brother and his phone time is very... restrictive. What's your nickname? They call me... Uh, Frank the Fista. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Whoa, sorry, buddy. You need to leave me out of this one. If Madison knew I had any part of the... Darren.